The DS to Cheetah, black and gold of Lotter are on pole. All five lights are on. And we go green in Rome. It's a pretty decent start from Stoffel van Dorn flying through the field. Across comes Andre Lotter to cover the inside line. Evans slots into second place. Van Dorn goes to the outside, straight on goes Jose Maria Lopez in the dragon. He loses a couple of places. Excellent start from Robin Freitz as well, who qualified in eighth place and he's managed to get a bit of sick. Part of that helped by Jose Maria Lopez running wide. Big slide for Gunter. And he just keeps it out of the wall. Unbelievable, but there's carbon fiber flying off. The front wing must have been damaged there. And there's bodywork flying everywhere off the front of Maxi Gunter's car. There's a look up the inside. That's going to be close. Bert's hit. Bird's been spun around by Jose Maria Lopez. It is that bird out of the race again on the opening lap right, for the second race damage. in a row. Left, Sam Bird out. Left rear damage. I mean, there's just no need for that. Bird's made it check. to the pits. Bird's made it to the pits. Shows what I know. <laughs> <laughs> Terrific job. This is on the run down. I think we're going to see Gunther. Oh, this is on board with Ooh. Gunther. Oh, he hit a ton. No, it just snapped, didn't it? Yeah. And that was what broke the nose was actual impact. Good recovery. Yeah. Lopez's qualifying performances have been fabulous this oh. year. But he keeps doing stuff like that in the race. Look at Sam Bird's head. Yeah. Shows you how big an impact with the wall that was. Lopez well, just needs to calm down a wee bit to actually get a result. On board with John Eric Verne, this was the pileup. Lopez lost it again. He had a shocker of a first lap, Jose Maria <laughs> Lopez, really I'm did. afraid to say. Pretty unfortunate, really, for Gary Paffett. Three DNFs. Did not finish so far. This is number four, and he just he can't buy a break. He, he, it was, he was totally not at fault, but what no. just happened? There's nothing he could have done. Here it, comes Lotterer around the bus stop chicane. The safety car pulls in, and Lotterer floors it. We're racing again at the Romy Pre after a long red flag period. Andre Lotterer leads, then it's Evans, then it's Van Dorn, then it's Buemi, then it's Fright. Look at this jump. <laughs> that is just <laughs> phenomenal. Mortara up into seventh place past oh, his teammate. Bit of blocking from the teammates. Massa tries to fight back. Oliver Rowland. Rowland didn't get that high. That was disappointing. The other two were great. You could just watch that all day. I think we do need to have a, a distance marker yeah. for next season. <laughs> and award a point for the person that flies the furthest. Now, Lotter, we've discussed it before, is one of the most robust defenders, if not the most robust, in the championship. So, Mitch gets a chance to have a move. He's going to have to make it count as Ooh. he tries. No. Now, let's just enjoy this, shall we? Well, I want your marks out of 10. That's a two out of 10. That's uh, no good, Lotterer. Just Not okay. bad compression on landing. Mitch Evans out to the further to the right. His front wheels didn't really go off the ground. Sorry, no. Mitch. The track is pretty much dry now. You're almost back to full My feet dry pace. No. That's because you're wearing inappropriate footwear, No, I jack. know. I didn't, uh, I didn't believe there would be rain today, as we know. And uh, it turns out I've got a hole in my shoe. <laughs> so my right foot is absolutely drenched. Rain is useful for that, finding holes in your shoe. <laughs> yes, exactly. Evans is in attack mode is the message to Lotter. If you hadn't figured that out already, Andre, here they come down towards the right-hander at turn 10. And Lotter is starting to defend. Evans is going to get a good run here, but the chicane is not an overtaking place. He's got to get a run out of here, Jack. Get to the throttle early. Nah, he uh, lost a little bit, but I watched with the extra 25 kilowatts of power. The gap will close. He's got to look over to the left. The he dummies him a little bit, tries one way, tries the other. Lotter recovers the inside line. Evans goes to the outside. Oh, Lotter squeezes and closes the door. Some more firm defending from Lotter down towards turn 10. You're not going to pass Lotter around the outside. You're going to have to force him offline. He's almost there. He's got to go for it. It's too far back. Surely there's contact. And Lotter, is he in the wall? He Evans is. is through. Evans is in the lead of the race. Where did Andre Lotter end up? He's going to get overtaken here by Stoffel van Dorn down into turn 13. Not quite. Lotter managed to keep out of the wall just about. And if you watch Mitch Evans' fingers on the right hand, as soon as he passes him, he goes on the radio. He's probably saying, I didn't hit him. I didn't hit him. <laughs> it's straight to the radio. This this is, for me, this is when Van Dorn should use his, but I'm not an engineer or a racing driver or, a, <laughs> yeah. or an intelligent person in any sense. So, Lotterer through the final corner and he goes for attack mode again. Jack, you do know what you're talking about. What can I say? <laughs> what can I say? Did Mitch Evans miss it? Uh, he's not got his arrow. His, his... Yes, he's, he's missed, it. missed it. He's missed attack oh. mode. That has compromised him massively. Okay, here we go. This is it. This is key. Nerves in the DS to Cheetah garage. Go, Evans go goes there. for it. Lotterer accelerates out. Here he comes, the got DS it. to Cheetah car. Evans activates it this time around, and Lotterer is too far back. 
He's never stood on a formulary podium, had a third classification once after a disqualification. So his first visit to the formulary podium could be a very special one for him and for Jaguar. Mitch Evans through the final corner to win the Romy Prix for Jaguar. They're about to pull forward and they are not going to be taking to the grid because it is going to be a safety car start. You'll see why in a couple of moments time. The cars move off now behind the safety car and on the left hand side in the shade it's all wet. In the right hand side in the dry, uh, in the sun it's all dry. So the race director felt that would be an unfair way to start the race. So they're starting it behind the safety car. Finished second two weeks ago in Rome did Andre Lotter in that black and gold. To see the car and off it's Roland. Oliver Rowland in the wall, all by himself by the looks of things, from the lead of the race for Nissan. And there's shock on the face of the team. Francois Sicard can't believe what he's seen, that the race leader has crashed out. Meanwhile, here comes Lotterer to the outside of Felipe Massa, coming into three, he turns in, they're going to be close there. Massa holds on, does he? Now Lotterer has the inside for four, into Place Vauban, and Lotterer makes the move up into third place. Good effort from the German. That was a fabulous move. You've got to be looking. If I'm French, I look to the mirror, I've seen Andre Lotterer. Oh, mistake uh -oh. from Boemi. Through goes Robin Freitz into the lead of the Paris E Prix. Is it a mistake or a problem? Well, he suddenly seemed to slow on exit of Place Vauban. And he seems to have a bit of pace now, but... Now Lotterer's coming. Good job, Ben. Very good job. Lotterer up the inside. Buemi has trouble. Is it a... Both it, it... Nissans, having locked out the front row, are not going to win in Paris. Buemi keeps going. I thought it was maybe a flat tyre, but it, it, it's moving around. Nah, he's, he's, yeah, he's in the pits. Sebastian Buemi in the pit lane. Shake of the head from Francois Sicard, the team manager, and here comes Daniel Abt on the attack, trying to get past Felipe Massa now for third place. Maxi Gunter's lurking in behind the two. Neos are going to hit each other. That's the last thing those guys need. They're both not, on the points. I'm not quite sure how that happened because Dillman was well in front of Turvey, but now all of a sudden that was Turvey going past Dillman around the outside. It's possibly a mistake, but they, they, they need to score points. Massa, Massa holds the inside. Yeah, he's just sort of shadowing it, isn't he? Just in case here comes Abt. Abt does the dummy. Massa's closing the door. That's going to be... Whoa! Abt just about gets through. <laughs> I thought that was going to be a first-class ticket to a crash site, but they just about <laughs> managed to squeeze around it. It is really is hailing. Yeah. Hailstones won't know what they are. <laughs> when was the last time you saw hailstones? Have you ever driven in a hail storm in a single seater? Uh, snow. Snow? Yeah, it snowed once. Okay, I feel like if hailstones are hitting you though, that might hurt. Yeah. <laughs> much, much happier in the commentary booth, I will say that. But look at these fans, they are not leaving their seats despite nope. the weather. We have seen four seasons in one day, haven't we? It was lovely and sunny just before we walked out for the grid. I'm calling it. Okay, Jack. Formula has had a wet race. I will accept Finally. <laughs> this is a wet race. Rome started a bit damp. It wasn't a wet race. Hong Kong started a bit damp. It wasn't a wet race. Saudi started a bit. I accept this is rain. That's look. the headline oh. from this race. He's going to in fifth place. Turvey was in attack mode, slamming into the wall is Dillman. Can he keep going? It's got now to Costa up the inside of Bird and the two bang wheels coming into Place Vauban. It's all over for Dillman. It's going to be over here for one of these two, isn't it? No, nice racing. 21 minutes plus a lap to go. Robin Freitz is leading the race and off is Bird. Sam Bird and Gary, maybe Van Dorn. Oh, Da Costa's Sims. off. Sims. Sorry, Sims, Sims is off. My apologies. Roland's involved as well. And Sims is out of the race again. Oh, and a spin. And is that's that bird, bird again. I think it's Bird again. I thought it was Robin Frights for a no, moment. Bird, yeah. Oh, right, so see. Bird's out of shape, but then the Mahindra's totally not yeah, stopping he's, either. No, he's 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 going to the airport. <laughs> and then look out! Here comes Roland. Bam! Oh, I mean that was Bonjour, close. je m'appelle Oliver. <laughs> that might be the line of the season. <laughs> Yeah, when it's greasy, it's useful. When it's spray, it's not useful to have a car in front of you. 15 minutes plus a lap to go, and Robin Freitz comes across the... Why are you giggling at me? Because I'm doing my expert driver comments again. <laughs> well, oh, I... Vern Mortara. Vern's going to be annoyed again. <laughs> yeah, I would say so. Um, on the radio. Oh, oh, Massa. Felipe Massa is that spinning out of the yeah. final corner all by himself, potentially, and Massa has dropped away from the podium positions. Now here comes Mortara to the outside of Maxi Gunter to try and take sixth place away. He's not stopping it, he's in the wall. 
And Mortara in the wall. Middle of the straight, we've got some debris as well. Right at the start line, or the finish line, I'm sorry, there's, there's some debris. Actually, start line. Mortara right. manages to bounce, so in the space of two corners, one Venturi spins, the other one hits the wall. No wonder Susie Wolf is shaking her head. That's Sam Bird, meanwhile, who is in uh, 17th place and off. Who's that Roland this time? Is that again. Roland again? It's Roland again. He's, has he damaged his front wing again? And he was up to 16. Had he changed his front wing? Yeah. Left it somewhere. Oh, in the wall. Back wheels off the ground. We've got two, we got oh. Lynn and we've got Bird taking evasive action. It's Bird and Mortara. Mortara. Oh, sorry, Lynn and Mortara. Yeah. And off down here is Massa as well. And Oliver Turvey both doing U-turns to get back onto the track. So that's Turvey and Massa losing a load of places. And, uh, well, this will be, I would suggest, a safety 14, car, but we'll see. Good, infor good information from the engineer. Full course yellow. Full course yellow we go. A shake of the head, Alex Lynn out of the race. He's gone, Robin Freins is off. Leading the way with Lotter a second, Daniel Apt in third place as they burst into the sunshine in Paris. Oh, no, not again. D'Ambrosio oh. in the wall and Lopez into the back of him. D'Ambrosio, championship leader. Jerome D'Ambrosio, I'm sorry. who'd uh, climbed so far up from the back of the order. Hopefully he can reverse out of that. There should be yellow flags on the right-hand side as we go on the brakes. Yeah, there are. Safety. And a full, full course, course yellow. yellow. And that is basically, I think, going to be the end of the Paris e -Prix. Green flag. The green right, flag. race goes flag. green, then we've got a couple more corners to go. Robin Freins gets oh, flying, he was ready to go. And we have got a couple more corners left in the Paris e -Prix. Robin Freins, though, looks to have it under control. Yeah, Lotter a second. Behind. Audi's third and fourth. <laughs> but here comes Robin Freins, the man who stormed Thank up you, through boys. his junior career. Thank you. Here he comes across the line. Robin Freins wins in Paris. Robin, it's Dario up in the booth. Congratulations, that was a phenomenal race. Thank you, Dario. Thank you. It was the hardest race of my life. Hardest race. Wow. But it's Robin Freins with the Dutch flag who's going to jog up onto the top step of the podium. Won everything in his junior career. He's gone on to have a successful career in GT racing. But for the first time, he is a race winner in ABB Formula E.